Prince Leopold, Duke of Albany. Prince Leopold was the eighth of the nine children and a fourth and youngest son of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert of Saxe Coburg and Gotha. Leopold was born on the 7th of April, 1853, at Buckingham Palace in London, England. Leopold was described as delicate from a very early age. It soon became apparent that he suffered from the genetic disease hemophilia. He was the first of the nine hemophiliacs among Queen Victoria's descendants. The infant prince was christened Leopold George Duncan Albert in a private chapel at Buckingham Palace on the 28th of June, 1853, by the Archbishop of Canterbury, John Bird Sumner. Naturally, Leopold's childhood activities were curtailed due to his hemophilia. He was perhaps Queen Victoria's most intellectual child and had the artistic taste of his father, Prince Albert. Leopold somehow managed to convince his mother to allow him to spend four years from 1872 to 1876 at Christ Church Oxford University, and he received an honorary doctorate in civil law in 1876. While at Oxford, Leopold became friendly with Alice Little, the daughter of the Dean of Christ Church, Oxford. Alice was the inspiration for the classic Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, who in real life was Charles Ludwig Dodgson, and was held the Christ Church Mathematical Lectureship. There have been some rumors of a romance between Leopold and Alice. Alice did name her first child after Leopold, and the prince was his godfather. Leopold's first child was named Alice, perhaps after Alice Little, and or perhaps after his sister Alice, who had died several years earlier. In 1881, Leopold first met his future wife, Princess Helena of waldeck Piermont in Darmstadt, where Leopold was staying with Ludwig IV, Grand Duke of Hessen by Rhine, who was the widower of Leopold's sister Alice. Helena's parents were George Victor, Sovereign Prince of waldeck Piermont, and Princess Helena of Nassau. Through both of her parents, Helena was a descendant of Anne, Princess Royal, the eldest child of King George II of Great Britain. Leopold saw a marriage as a way to become independent from Queen Victoria, his overbearing mother. Besides having hemophilia, Leopold also had mild epilepsy. Although hemophilia had more serious consequences, it was a disease that was not completely understood at the time, and it was Leopold's epilepsy that caused him problems while seeking a bride. Epilepsy was considered a social stigma, and many families hid away their epileptic relatives. After Leopold was rejected by several potential royal brides, Queen Victoria and her eldest daughter Victoria stepped in and made arrangements for Leopold and Helena to meet. The couple became engaged on the 17th of November, 1881. Leopold was ecstatic when he wrote of the news to his brother-in-law Ludwig, widower of his sister Alice. Quote, we became engaged this afternoon. Oh, my dear brother, I am so overjoyed, and you, who have known this happiness, you will be pleased for me, won't you? You only know Helena a little as yet. When you really know her, then you will understand why I am mad with joy today. End quote. On the 27th of April, 1882, Leopold and Helena were married at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle. Helena was escorted down the aisle by her father, George Victor, Sovereign Prince of waldeck Piermont, and her brother-in-law, King Wilhelm III of the Netherlands. Her wedding gown of white satin, decorated with traditional orange blossom and myrtle, was a gift from her sister, Queen Emma of the Netherlands. Leopold had requested that his friend, the French composer Charles Gonaud, Compose a wedding march to be played as Helena made her way to the altar. The couple had two children, Princess Alice of Albany and Prince Charles Edward, Duke of Albany, the future Duke of Saxe Coburg and Gotha. Unfortunately, Leopold and Helena's marriage was short lived. In early 1884, Leopold's doctors recommended that he spent the winter in Cannes, France, which he had done before. At the time, Helena was expecting her second child. On the 27th of March, 1884, Leopold slipped and fell on the staircase at Vela Nevada, the private home he was staying at Cane. He injured his knee and hit his head and died early in the morning of the 28th of March, 1884, apparently of a cerebral hemorrhage, the injuries having been exasperated by his hemophilia. He was 31 years old.
Prince Leopold, Duke of Albany, was buried in the Alba Memorial Chapel at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle. Four months after Leopold's death, Helena gave birth to his son, Charles Edward. Charles Edward became Duke of Albany at birth, his father's title, and in 1900, succeeded his uncle Alfred as the last reigning Duke of saxe coburg and Gotha. During the First World War, he was deprived of his British titles due to his taking up arms against his native country. After World War II, Charles Edward was imprisoned due to his Nazi sympathies and was heavily fined and almost bankrupted. Charles Edward's grandson, King Carl XVI Gustav, currently sits upon the throne of Sweden. Leopold's daughter, Alice, married a brother of Queen Mary, Alexander Cambridge, first Earl of Athlone, and died in 1981, the last surviving grandchild of Queen Victoria. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell notification button so you get notified when I post a new video. Anyways guys, have an amazing day and thank you so much for watching.